Hello everyone. In this session, let's try to learn the essentials of managing service teams and fostering collaboration. Let's understand or start our discussion first with the importance of effective team management and collaboration. Effective team management and collaboration brings multiple benefits. First here is enhanced customer experience. Effective team management and collaborations are essential for delivering seamless and personalized service experiences to customers. Service organizations rely on coordinated efforts among team members to meet customer needs, resolve issues promptly, and exceed expectations. The second importance is with respect to increased employee engagement and satisfaction. Collaborative work environments foster a sense of belonging and camaraderie among team members, leading to higher levels of employee engagement and satisfaction. When employees feel valued, supported, and empowered to contribute to team goals, they are more motivated to deliver exceptional service and go the extra mile for their customers. Third importance is with respect to improved efficiency and productivity. Well-managed teams are better equipped to streamline processes, eliminate redundancies, and optimize workflow efficiently. Collaboration among team members allows for sharing of knowledge, resources, and best practices, resulting in improved productivity and services. Next, with respect to faster problem resolution, effective team management enables swift problem identification and resolution, minimizing service disruptions and customer dissatisfaction. Collaborative teams leverage the diverse skills and expertise of their members to troubleshoot issues, brainstorm solutions, and implement timely interventions. Another importance is with respect to innovation and adaptability. Service organizations operate in a dynamic and competitive environment, requiring constant innovation and adaptation to meet evolving customer needs. Teams that collaborate effectively are more adept at generating creative solutions, adapting to changing circumstances, and driving continuous improvement in service delivery. Another importance is with respect to alignment with organizational goals. Effective team management ensures alignment with organizational goals, values, and priorities, enabling teams to work towards common objectives. Collaborative teams understand their role in achieving organizational success and proactively contribute to strategic initiatives and business outcomes. And finally, in terms of competitive advantage as well. Service organizations that prioritize effective team management and collaboration gain a competitive advantage in the marketplace. By delivering superior service experiences through cohesive and collaborative teams, organizations differentiate themselves from competitors. They can attract and retain customers and achieve sustainable business growth. Ultimately, Effective team management and collaboration are critical drivers of overall business success for service firms. By fostering a culture of teamwork, communication, and collaboration, service organizations can achieve higher levels of customer satisfaction, employee engagement, operational efficiency, and financial performance as well. Now let's understand what is service teams are made up of. Service teams are groups of employees working together to deliver service experiences to customers. Unlike traditional teams focused on production or even manufacturing, service teams are customer facing and responsible for delivering intangible services, such as hospitality, healthcare, or technical support. Service teams are characterized by four attributes. First here is that they are cross-functional. This means Service teams often consist of members with diverse skill sets and backgrounds, including customer service representatives, technicians, sales associates, and managers. Second characteristic of service teams is customer-facing roles. Members of service teams interact directly with customers, whether in person, over the phone, or through digital channels to address their needs, inquiries, or concerns. Third characteristic of service teams is that they are collaborative in nature. Service teams rely on collaboration and cooperation among members to deliver seamless and personalized service experiences. And final characteristic is that service teams are goal-oriented. 
Service teams are aligned towards common goals and objectives, such as either improving customer satisfaction or increasing service efficiency or achieving some performance targets. Now let's understand the different types of service teams. There are essentially three types of service teams. First, frontline service teams, support service teams, and then cross functional service teams. With respect to frontline service teams, these teams are directly involved in delivering services to customers, such as customer service representatives, sales associates, or even technical support agents. Whereas support service teams provide behind the scenes support to the frontline teams, such as IT support, human resources, or administrative support or staff to ensure smooth operations and service delivery. Third type of service teams are cross-functional service teams. These teams comprise members from different departments or functional areas working together to address specific customer needs or resolve complex issues. Cross-functional collaboration allows for a holistic approach to service delivery and problem solving. Service teams play a crucial role in shaping customer perceptions, experiences, and satisfaction levels. They serve as the frontline representatives of the organization, acting as ambassadors for the brand and upholding its values and service standards. Effective service teams are key drivers of customer loyalty, repeat business, and positive word of mouth referrals, contributing to the overall success and competitiveness of the service firm. Now let's understand some key essentials for managing service teams and fostering collaboration between them. The first essential thing here is having clear goals and objectives. Objectives can be, for example, improve customer satisfaction ratings or reduce response times or increase service efficiency, etc. Setting clear goals and objectives for service teams is a paramount for their success and alignment with organizational objectives. These goals provide focus, direction, and motivation, guiding team members in their efforts and fostering a sense of purpose and accountability. Clear objectives also enable measurement and evaluation of team performance, facilitate collaboration and coordination, and promote adaptability and agility in responding to changing circumstances. Ultimately, well-defined goals contribute to the improved customer satisfaction and loyalty by ensuring consistent, high-quality service delivery that meets or even exceeds customer expectations. The second essential point here is effective communication. This means having regular team meetings or open-door policy or digital communication tools, etc. Effective communication is the lifeblood of service teams, playing a pivotal role in ensuring seamless coordination, collaboration, and customer satisfaction. Clear and open communication channels enable team members to share information, align on goals and objectives, and coordinate efforts effectively. It fosters a sense of trust, transparency, and unity among team members, facilitating smoother workflow and problem solving. Moreover, communication enhances customer interactions by enabling empathetic listening, clear articulation of solutions, and timely response to inquiries or issues. In essence, Effective communication is essential for building strong relationships within service teams, delivering exceptional service experiences, and also for ultimately driving customer loyalty and business success. Third essential principle here is empowerment and autonomy. With respect to, for example, having faster problem resolutions, improved customer experiences, or increased employee morale, etc. Empowering service teams to make decisions is essential for fostering a culture of autonomy ownership, and innovation within organization. When team members are empowered to make decisions, they feel valued, trusted, and accountable for their actions, leading to increased motivation and job satisfaction. Empowerment enables service teams to respond swiftly to customer needs, resolve issues proactively, and adapt to changing circumstances without needing to seek approval at every step. This agility and autonomy not only improve service delivery efficiency, but also enhance customer satisfaction by enabling faster problem resolution and personalized service experiences. Moreover, empowered teams are more likely to innovate, experiment with new ideas, and drive continuous improvement initiatives, ultimately contributing to organization's growth and success. Therefore, 
Empowering service teams to make decisions is not only beneficial for employees' professional development, but also crucial for delivering exceptional service and maintaining a competitive edge in the marketplace. Next principle here or next essential part here is continuous training and development. This involves having training topics like customer service skills, product knowledge, conflict resolutions, etc. Investing in training and development for service teams is critical for equipping employees with the skills, knowledge and confidence needed to deliver exceptional service experiences. Comprehensive training programs empower service teams to understand organizational values, service standards and customer expectations, ensuring alignment with organizational goals. By enhancing employees' technical expertise, communication skills and problem-solving abilities, training fosters a culture of continuous learning and improvement, driving service excellence and innovation. Moreover, training and development initiatives demonstrate a commitment to employees' professional growth and well-being, leading to increased job satisfaction, motivation and retention. Ultimately, investing in training and development for service teams not only enhances employee work performance and engagement, but also contributes to higher level of customer satisfaction, loyalty and business success. Next essential part is having recognition and reward system in place. This involves recognition and rewards like employee of the month awards, uh, performance bonuses, or even public acknowledgements, etc. Recognizing and rewarding service team achievement is crucial for fostering motivation, engagement, and positive work culture. By acknowledging their contributions, organizations boost morale, reinforce desired behaviors, and can inspire continued excellence. Tangible rewards and public recognition not only demonstrate appreciation, but also incentivizes high performance driving both employee satisfaction and customer loyalty. In essence, recognizing and rewarding service team achievements cultivate a culture of excellence and empowerment, leading to sustained business success. Another essential part here is having collaboration and teamwork practices. This may include initiatives like cross-training programs, team building activities, or even shared goals. Fostering collaboration among service team members is a paramount for delivering seamless and exceptional service experiences. When team members work together cohesively, they leverage diverse perspectives, skills, and expertise to address customer needs more effectively. Collaboration enhances communication, problem solving, and knowledge sharing, leading to quicker issue resolution and improved service delivery. Moreover, collaboration promotes a sense of commander and mutual respect and support among team members, fostering a positive work environment and increased employee satisfaction. By encouraging collaboration, service providers can unlock the full potential of their service teams, driving innovation, efficiency, and ultimately customer satisfaction and loyalty. Now let's look at how to build service teams. Let's have a look at this video that talks about how to build a top tier service team. You also provided an extraordinary number of supporting components, whether it was the vision or the purpose or Absolutely. the values or the, the training or the reasons to go, the whole. And then tell us a little bit, you know, behind the scenes, what was going on from the HR side. From the HR side, the, the biggest uh, challenge was to, uh, to infuse the energy and to make people understand. We were very lucky to have people like you, like Pierce, who created with us a very uh, simple way to teach things and to understand things and to explain things. I remember when Paul did his, I think there was 29 or 30 sessions that he did himself when we started explaining the vision, purpose and values, the VPV at the time, mm -hmm. we used that word, that uh, acronym. So it was very interesting how we gave the support, but the people were so willing. It was not a imposed. It wasn't forced. It wasn't forced. At all. It wasn't injected. I think it was infused and people came on board and they, 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 they realized that it was 
for the better, and it was in a way a very pleasing journey. Mm -hmm. I never felt it was, oh my God, uh, this is just so difficult. Why do we have to go through this? So it, it never, it's fascinating thing that happened. Hard work, yes. Days, hours, nights of hard work, traveling when required and everything, but it was never like a, a painful mm. adventure, mm. never. Mm. Mm. It was difficult, challenging, uh, stressful, yes, let's call it a cat a cat, but pleasant mm. feelings there, associated there was, in the process. There was a purpose and there was a passion and there exactly. was a driving energy and you were never alone no, in it. No. The whole group was moving Absolutely. together. And when I see, I mean, I have the most respect for the general managers of the properties yeah. who do an amazing job with their teams because they are the business leaders and they make the magic happen yeah. with their team. Yeah. I mean, we are here to support, but they do such an amazing, amazing job. I mean, it's just... Yeah. And other people on the team who weren't necessarily the general manager, but just rose up and took such a sense of responsibility. We saw that in Maldives, for example, with Afif. Absolutely. Yeah, especially during, you know, all of what occurred during the pandemic era. Yeah. Now let's discuss some service organization examples that achieved success through collaborations and service teams. The first organization here is Zappos. Zappos fosters a collaborative culture among its service team members, emphasizing teamwork, communication, and mutual respect. One notable example of collaboration at Zappos is their one-team approach, where employees across different departments work together seamlessly to serve customers. Customer service representatives collaborate closely with warehouse staff, logistics teams, and product specialists to ensure timely order processing, accurate product information, and efficient delivery. Furthermore, Zappos empowers its service team members to make decisions autonomously, encouraging them to go above and beyond to meet customer needs. This collaborative and empowered approach has resulted in personalized and memorable service experiences for their customers. Additionally, Zappos leverage technology to facilitate collaboration among its dispersed workforce, providing tools and platforms for real-time communication, knowledge sharing, and collaboration on customer inquiries and issues. Overall, Zappos' commitment to collaboration has been instrumental in delivering exceptional service experiences and building strong customer relationship, contributing to its reputation as a leader in customer service excellence in the retail sector. Another organization is Starbucks. Starbucks places a strong emphasis on teamwork and collaboration among its employees, known as partners, to deliver exceptional service experiences to their customers. One example of collaboration at Starbucks is its lean thinking approach, which encourages cross-functional collaboration to streamline operations and enhance customer service. Employees from different departments work together to identify inefficiencies, implement process improvements, and deliver a consistent and high-quality customer experience. Additionally, Starbucks invests heavily in training and development programs that emphasize teamwork, communication, and problem-solving skills. Through role-paying exercises, team meetings, and ongoing coaching, employees learn how to collaborate effectively to address customer needs and exceed their expectations. Furthermore, Starbucks fosters a culture of inclusivity and diversity where all partners are encouraged to contribute their unique perspectives and ideas. This collaborative environment not only enhances employee engagement and satisfaction, but also leads to innovative solutions and service improvements. Overall, Starbucks' commitment to collaboration has been instrumental in driving its success as a customer-centric organization, fostering strong employee engagement and delivering memorable service experiences that keep customers coming back. Now let's understand some common challenges in managing service teams. The first challenge here is communication breakdowns. Ineffective communication can lead to misunderstandings, errors, and delay in service delivery, impacting customer satisfaction and team performance. The second challenge here is high turnover rates. Service industries often experience high turnover rates due to demanding workloads, irregular schedules, and limited career advancement opportunities. 
which can actually disrupt team dynamics and service continuity. Third challenge here is balancing workload and resources. Service teams must manage fluctuating workloads while ensuring adequate staffing levels and resources to meet customer demands, avoiding burnout and maintaining service quality. Next challenge is with respect to skills gap. Service teams require diverse skills from technical expertise to interpersonal abilities and addressing these skill gaps through training and development initiatives is crucial for maintaining service quality and maintaining or meeting customer expectations. So what are the strategies for overcoming these challenges? Let's say the first challenge is of communication breakdown. So here, firm can implement regular team meetings wherein they can schedule frequent team meetings to discuss goals, address concerns and share updates, fostering open communication and alignment. They can also utilize communication tools. For example, implement digital communication tools such as messaging apps, project management platforms, or even video conferencing software to facilitate real-time communication and collaboration among team members. Third strategy to overcome challenges with respect to communication breakdown is to encourage feedback. Create a culture of feedback where team members feel comfortable providing input, suggestions, and constructive criticism to improve communication effectiveness. Coming to the second challenge that is high turnover rates. So what are the strategies that we have? First one here is focus on employee engagement. Firms can invest in initiatives to boost employee engagement, such as recognition programs, career development opportunities, and transparent communication about career paths and advancement. Second strategy can be to conduct exit interviews. Firms can gather feedback from departing employees through exit interviews to identify patterns, root causes of turnover, and areas for improvement in organizational policies or practices. Third strategy can be improve onboarding processes. Firms can enhance the onboarding experience for new recruits or hires by providing comprehensive training, mentorship programs, and opportunities for social integration into the team. Coming to the next challenge that is balancing workload and resources. So what are the strategies that we have here? First strategy is implement workload management tools. Service firms can utilize software tools or systems to track and manage workload distribution among team members, ensuring equitable distribution and preventing their burnout. Second strategy can be cross-train team members. Cross-train team members on various tasks or roles to build flexibility and resilience within the team, allowing for smoother workload management during peak periods or staff shortages. Third strategy can be prioritizing tasks. Firms can establish clear priorities and deadlines for tasks to help team members focus their efforts and allocate resources effectively, ensuring critical tasks are completed on time. With respect to another challenge that is skills gap, we have some solution as well. For example, the first strategy can be offering training and development programs. Service firms can invest in training and development initiatives tailored to address specific skill gaps identified within the team providing opportunities for continuous learning and skill enhancement. Second strategy can be encouraging knowledge sharing. Firms can facilitate knowledge sharing among team members through mentoring programs, peer-to-peer -peer learning sessions, or knowledge repositories, leveraging the expertise and experiences of seasoned employees. Third strategy can be to provide external resources. Service firms can offer access to external resources such as online courses, workshops, or industry conferences to supplement internal training efforts and expose team members to new perspectives and best practices. By implementing these strategies, organizations can mitigate common challenges in managing service teams, fostering a supportive and collaborative work environment conducive to high performance and service excellence. So in this session, we try to understand the essentials of managing service teams and fostering collaboration to achieve service excellence. Thank you.